Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about configuration management tools. So we'll discuss about Ansible, Puppet and Chef. So these all are basically the softwares which you can download and install on the computers which will help us to configure the networking devices. So first thing is that why do we need these configuration management tools? The answer is simple. If we are, if we have a computer network, then we will have compute, we will have these networking devices, and then these all networking devices need to be configured properly to to make an efficient computer network. Now, for that, the traditional approach is that we can go to each individual device like this one, and then we can configure maybe this device, and then we can go to the next device and the third device, and like we can go to each individual device and we can configure them as per our requirement but sometimes problem occurs that this if if, if the network grows so if, they, if there are some even with a single network device as well this uh, becomes sometimes error prone so we, we can um, have some errors during the configurations and of course if uh, the networking devices grows then this is also time consuming and this is becomes really challenging when the network is in maybe in hundreds uh, consists of hundreds or sometimes more uh, networking devices in the organizations so one of the problem is that if the network grows and if we are going to hire more network administrator or the system administrators there what happens here maybe one is going to configure something and uh, he is not going to uh, inform the second administrator there that what he did with maybe with this switch. So in this way, sometimes there the problem occurs, which is known as configuration drift. So configuration drift means the configuration of device may drift away uh, away from. So this is not way drift away from the intended configuration over time. So what happens? Maybe after some times we can we can find that what the ideal configuration we want for some networking device that is not there, and that may be there may be any reason for that. But the configuration drift defines is defined like this. So this is one of the problem, and. Uh, Second problem is that that we just discussed that if they are not going to convey uh, the uh, configuration made by this guy, maybe this administrator A is not going to tell that configuration to him. Maybe he forgot or whatever the reason can be. So what happens in that case, we can introduce a central control or we can a central location where we can maintain some of the files. So in that files, we can say, for example, if this is S1 or this is R1 or this is IDS1 or R2, so we can maintain some files that whosoever is going to make the changes in these networking device, this becomes the responsibility of that administrator to mention or to report these changes in the files which are being maintained in this central location. So we call it version control system. In that system, we can have information like who made the changes, at what date and time the changes were made, and maybe what specific changes were made. So in this kind of, in such kind of information, we can save here in the central locations. So in this way, somehow we can, we can save ourselves. But still, there is some problem that if, if in any case, if you are going to miss something here in these files, then this also becomes challenging. And second thing is that maybe someone made the changes here in the networking device in some of the network device and he didn't mention there in the file now we have two copies one is this the actual configuration and there are some of the configuration which are noted here in these files now which configuration we should believe whether this is right configuration which are in the files or whether the configuration which are just the running configuration on this device those configuration are the right configurations. So this also makes uh, the situation challenging for, for the network administrators sometimes. Now for that, the configuration management tools have been introduced. 
So for that, what we have, so maybe we can have a computer with, uh, with a software, the configuration management uh, software. And now we configure these all networking device from that central location with the help of that configuration management tool. So that can be Ansible, Puppet, or Chef, anyone. But now we are going to deal with that one. So what we do, we make changes or whatever configuration we want to make into these networking devices. So for all of them, we are going to uh, write the instructions or the configuration at the central location. And once we are done with that, then we, we can exchange these configuration with those networking devices. So instead of going here, we are going to do these all things at the central locations. So this is the uh, facility provided by this configuration management tools. Now, let's remove this one. Now, this configuration monitoring is also a part of this configuration management tools. And this, with this configuration monitoring, we can find out if there is some inconsistency between the configuration which are at this router for example and the configuration which we want are the intended configuration if there is some difference or if there is in some inconsistency then this in configuration monitoring can uh, inform the network administrator about this inconsistency or this configuration monitoring component can act or can make the required corrections so that this configuration on this router actually reflect the required configuration which we want or the ideal configuration. So this can, I mean, they can automatically do that thing as well. So this configuration actually can have, or they are mostly uh, composed of the templates and the variables. And so templates have the configuration which is applicable to maybe to the all of the networking devices which we have to control or at least to some group of the networking devices so with having common requirement or common configuration so for them instead of defining the configuration individually for them we have we store those configuration in some templates and then in variables we store the configuration required by individual one. So it means there are some configuration which is same for all and some of the configuration which are specific for the devices. So those are stored in the variable. So these are the configuration components. So now after this general discussion, let's specifically discuss about Ansible. So Ansible again is a software which we download and install in a computer. And now, once we have installed that Ansible software in the computer, we create the files. And in those files, we have the instructions which we will be sending to the networking devices. So we first file is, for example, the playbook. So playbook is a file which contains the configuration instructions for the nodes. So it means we want to instruct and we want to send the instructions of configuration to these devices. Those will be stored in this playbook file and then we also have oh yes and these files are written in yaml so yaml is a serialization language like xml and that's the standard format for data transfer and uh, this is also uh, this also uses this uh, python language yes and the second file is for example we have the inventories and these are the files containing information about devices and the devices roles and groups so for example we say this this is one device what's name second device third device and they are maybe in a one group then this this kind of information is saved in the inventory and then we have the template as we discussed that they have the common configuration for uh, for a group of devices and we also have variables now the important thing is that so let's clear this important thing is that now once we have these files in these files we have the instructions and now we have to send these instructions files to these networking devices and now these 
files are basically sent from these ansible server to networking devices automatically automatically means these devices do not have to make any request for these instructions or for these configuration files so these are actually this is known as push configuration that server sends these instructions to it to the nodes to the nodes means to the networking devices on its own without any request from these devices and the second important thing is that these devices do not need any code or any instructions or any agent or any program there they don't need any agent or code there or instructions or any software there so they if they don't need then we call it as agent less architecture so it means ansible follows the agent less architecture and uh, yes this is this uses push, push configuration now as we discussed that these instructions once we have created these files these files will be sent to these nodes and they use netconf or ssh protocol to send these to the individual nodes the second configuration management tool is puppet so again we have some software we download that software in the computer so for these softwares for example we can go to their websites and note what happens again we create some files there and the important file is for example manifest here so manifest is a text files which has the desired configuration for these devices it means the specific instructions are there in this manifest and then these resources class modules these are basically components of the manifest of that file and then template has the same role and uh, the important thing here in puppet is that now once we have created these files and these servers now this server will not send these files automatically to these nodes but now at this time these nodes have to send a request to the server to receive those instructions so we call this a pull configuration because we are going to pull these configuration from the server to the networking devices in addition to that in one of the flavor this needs the puppet needs some codes to be installed or some code or some agent to be present in these nodes so we call this as agent based architecture it means we need some 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 compatible software here and uh, then yes these instructions are pulled from the uh, um, from the server using this http and rest api and the second in the second flavor instead of this software to be installed in the networking devices we can have some external agent in that external agent we can have this software and then this external agents let me remove this this external agents actually communicate with this server on behalf of these networking devices and then networking device can, can get this these instructions from this one so in this way we can set this is actually the agent less operation of this puppet which is actually the configuration management tool and final is chef again we have computers we download this software and we create some files and yes in addition to this we have, we can also have this chef workstations where we can create these files and then then we can send this one to chef and then these are the files where we have the instructions for the networking devices and these files the important is recipe where we have the description or the actions or the instructions which we want to send to these devices and then we have the cookbook so in the cookbook we have these recipes there so this is the set of recipe there and uh, we have a, a li uh, file that is a run list so that is the ordered list of these recipes and uh, uh, that shows that order in which these recipes should be uh, run in a device so these are different files which are created at the ship and now the important thing is that we can and this actually works in a client server model so this is server here and these devices are actually clients or we can say that these are chef node or chef client 
and yes this is another uh, file and important thing is that this is actually agent based agent based means these nodes need to have some code there some code or some agent there and then these devices actually contact the server and then they pull the configuration in the networking devices and then they implement or they configure themselves so we call this pull configurations and so this is how and they use http and the rest api for pulling or for getting the instructions from the servers so this was some brief uh, discussion about ansible puppet and chef and a side note is that chef and uh, puppet uses ruby programming language and ansible uses uh, python and yaml uh, so this was really a uh, very uh, general and overview of these uh, configuration management tools and i hope this discussion was a bit helpful for you and thank you thank you very much for your time i hope to see you in some other video Thank you.